feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions And it's too much sometimes, mix the potion Mix it up, girl, put it in motion Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope everything is going well with each and every one of you guys. Today I decided to go ahead and just make a video of how I do dishes and how I keep everything clean and copacetic around my kitchen. I first start off with cleaning out the sink. When I have bleach, I do put a little bit of bleach in my dishwater just to make sure everything is disinfected and fresh. I'm starting on silverware and plates. Then I work my way with the cups or bowls, either way. And then last but not least is the pots and pans and your glassware. I know it might look like a lot of dishes, like they have been set in there, but these are dishes that's basically been used within 24 hours. I usually keep them on my counter because I don't wanna keep my sinks full of dishes. And then when I get started, it's easier for me to separate them and go in order how I do my dishes.
I am just trying to find different ways of to give you guys great content, whether it's just making a video like today of me doing the dishes, whether it's cleaning outside by my front and back door. You guys know I do live in an apartment complex and my apartment is really not as big as it looks. So there's really not a lot of things to do. Like I said before, I do clean every day. And so sometimes I just don't feel like, you know, saving it for content because I'm just in the mood right now to get it done. But I hope you guys don't mind. If you are new to the channel and you have subscribed, welcome. I am Nisi, a mother of two. On this channel, I do nothing but cleaning motivation. When I first started, I was doing a lot of um, different hauls, cook with me's, DIYs, but that's on my other channel, Vibing with Nisi, if you're interested in seeing that. But let's get back into cleaning motivation. Okay, something that I just learned today, I have this pan. You guys know I use my glass pans faithfully almost every time I cook. Um, but there's brown spots, and these spots right here get on your glass um, glassware, and it's hard to get off with a regular sponge. So I just found out if you use a puma stone to rub on it, it comes off. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works. And yes, because this has been on this pan for a while, and I honestly didn't want people to think my pans was dirty, but it just wasn't coming off with a regular sponge. But now I took my pumice stone out and just try to scrub it. It doesn't scratch the glass or anything, but it does get this brown stuff that is stuck on your glassware off. Here's my small pan that I have in the dish rack, but here's the large pan. It did do the job. I just have to purchase the square Puma Stone. They do sell those. The round one that I have just can't get in the corners. There's a little piece right here and a piece right here that I need to get. Other than that, it did came out clean and I like that. I'm glad that I was able to find something that works. So if you guys or in need of that to do your pans. If you guys' pans are like that, everybody's pans probably not, just mine. But just letting you guys know that it does work, so. Hey guys, we are finished with this Monday motivation. I hope that you was able to get some motivation out of this. If you're needing dishes specifically in your kitchen to clean, I hope you got those taken care of. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, share my video so we can continue to grow. Take care and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.